Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and we are back at it again with another amazing, stupendous, tremendous, groundbreaking, earth-shattering, spine-tingling, brain-melting, action figure review! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, my phone was slipping. I went to try to catch it, and then I hit my hand on on my review station. <laughs> my tripod is acting up again. These tripods go really, really quickly because I'm always um, I'm the tripod tripod for my camera. They're always I buy them cheap, so maybe I should uh, invest a little bit more money into my YouTube channel and uh, get a, a more expensive tripod. <laughs> okay, enough about me. Today, we're keeping it in the Dark Ages family. If you guys didn't see my last review of Tormentor right there, he's <laughs> the creepiest figure I think I've ever reviewed, Tormentor. Uh, today, uh, we're going to take a look at the Necromancer. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Halloween is approaching, and, uh, and I figure uh, it's time to do some creepy reviews. And I reviewed almost every figure from this uh, Dark Age uh, uh, series, except for this guy, uh, Agaunus, Agaunus and Tuscadon, which I don't have. If I can find it for cheap, I'd definitely pick them up, and then I would finally complete this series. Because the series is a pretty, pretty awesome series. Uh, it hasn't been a disappointment. Viper King is awesome. Mandarin Spawn, of course, I reviewed. Uh, Tormentor, I just recently reviewed. Going to review Necromancer, and I'm definitely going to have to pick up the this uh, Iganis and Tuscadon. Um, and here's a little read up on Necromancer. I don't know much about her, uh, so we're going to take a look at her and uh, and see what this figure is all about. You know what? Just for the hell of it, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And, uh, of course, this is from 1999. If you guys didn't see my last review, they're from the same series, The Tormentor and Necromancer. So they're from 1999. And uh, so we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a read-up on Necromancer before I review her because I want to know a little bit more. Whoops! want to know a little bit more about her as I review uh, Necromancer. And hold up a minute. i got to get my camera right here. There we go. Okay, try to get it to stand because it's like not standing properly. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to read up a quick story and then we'll review the figure. Okay, perhaps the most powerful witch on earth or of any dimension, she leads her own army of the dead through different planes and holes through occult warps. At the moment, she is in the council and second in command for Spawn, the Black the Black Heart. Spawn the Black Heart. She is a master of the Black Arts and can morph her form into anyone or anything. Her power to speak and use use the dead as given her power like no other has ever had in the dark ages i apologize for my reading skills guys but uh <laughs> you know when you're reading a story like this that's not a regular story you know you're kind of i'm kind of reading it and thinking at the same time and which is not a good combination so that's my horrible reading skills so you know, because you don't read these stories like every single day. If you live in the real world and you <laughs> you're reading these stories, if you're like me, you're thinking as you're reading. Um, so that's that's kind of what I'm. That's kind of what I do here on my channel. As I'm unpackaging this figure, I'm reviewing her as I'm unpackaging this figure. So I'm thinking and reviewing her at the same time and thinking of clever things to say in order to keep your attention. That's my job as a YouTuber. Okay, so enough of my rambling, and rambling is uh, a big uh, problem of mine as well. So let's quit the rambling, let's open this figure up, and let's see what this figure is all about. Okay, here we go. Now she does have a few uh, twisty ties, which are not bad, that's kind of attached to her wings. 
And yeah, she does have wings, if you guys want to see that in the package, which was hard to uh, see in the package. Um, she does have wings, so be prepared for wings. She does come with a lot of accessories. A lot of accessories, man. <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Let's take uh, this, her friend out right here. This, I don't know what the hell it is, man. Iguana or a Komodo dragon or... It looks like a Komodo dragon, but it doesn't. It looks like a little baby pet dragon. That's a nice touch. I'm not going to lie, man. I don't think I've ever received a, a baby dragon um, with an action figure. That's pretty unique. Um, everything is articulated. The legs, the feet, the arms, if you want to call them arms, they can move. They're not really articulated. The head can move. They are movable, but you can't really get them in the pose any other way because the lizard pretty much just sits on his belly, right? So there's the lizard. That's pretty That's pretty cool. I like the detail of that lizard. Something different, something unique, you know what I mean? Let's take out one of her heads. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. The eye is popping out, and it's on a decapitated head, of course, and there's a piece of her spinal cord and blood, bloody spinal cord. Looks like a fellow witch. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Okay, and let's, so let's take out Necromancer. Okay. Now, being that this is a spawn figure, she is a statue. And looking at her, you can tell there is very little articulation. Now, her wings... I don't want to break off her wings, but they are articulated, so you can get them to close if you want to, kind of like that. But you guys got to be careful because it's an older figure, and it's a McFarlane figure, and they are known for breaking. So she stands like that. She's actually really nicely detailed. I'm loving these wings, man. She's really, really pretty, too. I mean, not bad for a... A 20-year-old figure. I mean, it's not bad at all. That face reminds me of somebody. Kind of reminds me of an actress. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, what's her name? Uh, the woman from... Uh, it's not coming to me. She's a famous actress. Reminds me of... Uh, damn, what was that? The woman that played in Underworld... I forgot her name. It's it's on the tip of my tongue. But the face sculpt was pretty nice. I have to admit, it's pretty and pretty nice. She has a metal chain right here. And she has an onk. That's what it's called, an onk. Or, if you don't want to get technical, crucifix, whatever. Very, very nice, man. Okay, so the articulation, arms just pretty much go up and down. There is nothing, uh, legs move, but there's nothing at the knees. There's nothing at the legs. Looks like she has like a something wrapped around her leg, but it's not a snake. And there's her shoe, there's her body. I like how her boobs are kind of translucent. And there's a little armor piece, an owl. There's a lot of stuff going on. She's got some long fingernails. I love her glove, the spikes in her glove. She's got a lot going on with her, man. She's very, very well detailed. And I like this look <laughs> right here. The straps for her stockings. Her boots. I'm surprised they didn't give her any earrings or like a crown or something for her hair. You know what I mean? With all the stuff that's going on with her. So as far as the wings, I, like I said before, the wings are kind of like translucent. There's the detail to the wings. And at the top of the wings, it has like a, 
like claws. I don't know how well you can see it. Let me come in a little bit closer. So here's the claws, and it kind of has like red hair on it, which is creepy. And there's the other side right there, the other claw with the red hair on it. I'm thinking whatever is coming out of her back was a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> very nicely detailed man I have to admit she's very very nice there's the back of her right there there's the wings it's kind of like a like a demon wing butterfly wing like a gothic chick a witch like a gothic chick wick witch try saying that three times fast okay so let's put her Let's try to get her to stand. It's easier said than done, but the wing kind of acts like a third leg, so it's helping her stand. Very, very beautiful figure, man. I have to admit, the detail is pretty damn nice. I mean, from 20 years ago, it's pretty damn nice. So here is her friend. Here's her head. So she comes with other accessories, guys. So... Let's put this off to the side. Let's break out her other accessories. And her other accessories are let's move let's move her off to the side so I can show you her other accessories. So her other accessories, it looks like it's taped or glued to the front. Here's another head as well. Wow, she's got another head in there. And these pieces. They're kind of like glue. That's weird. I've never seen that before with action figures. So. Oh, and I broke. I broke the sword. Shit. That's how fragile these weapons are, yeah. I snapped the sword, guys. Well, this is a McFarlane figure, so... I mean, it can be repaired. It's not fully snapped. But there's the sword right there. So, you just guys... You guys just have to be careful with a lot of these McFarlane weapons. But they're so... They were so weirdly attached. Like, they're super glued to the front of this uh, piece right here. So, let's take out the other head. Why they would do that, I have no idea. And they're like in there too, man. Okay, so here's the other head. Focus camera, focus! And he's kind of missing the hollowness. I don't. Oh, you know what this this is? This is a mask. It's a it's a witch mask. So it goes on to her head like that. So you can cover up her pretty face and put on this head, dude. Oh wow, wow, that is freaking creepy. So that's what she looks like underneath that beautiful face. You put on the witch mask and boom, <laughs> dude. That is freaking creepy. That is creepy, man. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna have her like that. She has such a beautiful face, it's a shame to cover it up with this witch mask, even though she is a witch. <laughs> that is creepy, dude. I thought it was another head. So let's break out her other accessories. Um So these right here. Let's cut this open. I don't know where people come up with the ideas for these things, man. I swear. And here is... Oh, like we were just talking about. Look at that. Remember I said, oh, that would be cool if she had something for her head or something. And she has like a, um, a hood or a cloak, whatever you want to call it, that you can put over her head. Look at that.
and it just kind of sits upon her head like so yeah that's not bad okay I like that that's pretty that's a pretty good idea so that's probably why they didn't give her any earrings or any like crown at on her head I don't know what do you guys think do you guys like her like that that's actually a pretty pretty good idea and this is like a rubber so it just kind of sits upon her head like so and it sits there very nicely and then she comes with another speaking of she comes with a mask so let me bring this right here and man they just put this in here so weird and so awkwardly So she comes with, yeah, here we go. Here's the mask, kind of like you see at like a Mardi Gras, like a Mardi Gras mask. So yeah, you can decorate her. Let's take this off and then slip the mask on. Look at that, dude. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. And then you can put the cloak over her head so you can cover up her pretty face if you want to I don't know why you would want to but if you wanted to you could <sighs> yeah man that's that's a pretty good idea now I see why they didn't put all that stuff on her head like the earrings and maybe like a crown or stuff because they got stuff you could put on her head and probably would have been difficult to you know trying to put this on the face on her face you know if they had all that stuff on her head but yeah, that's a, a really nice touch, man. I really, really like that. I kind of like her like this, man, because she has such a beautiful face. And, you know, it's not too shabby for a 20-year-old figure. So yeah, she comes with a lot of accessories. She's very, very well detailed. This is how she measures up against the Tormentor right here. So you see, the Tormentor is pretty huge. Pretty huge guy. Next to Necromancer. But yeah, these are a really, really good combo. They go very, very well together. Okay, guys, so let me measure her. Let me rate her. Let me know what, I'll let you know what uh, I think of her. So she stands at about six inches tall, going up to her highest wing. It's about eight inches. So, very, very nice piece. An unexpected piece I didn't think I would like. So, being that she's very detailed, obviously, you, as you can see, she comes with a mask. She comes with an inter, uh, interchangeable face. Not a head, but an interchangeable face. She comes with a pet dragon. She comes with a cloak. She comes with a sword right here. And she comes with a head as well. Now, I'm guessing I'm going to try to put this... Uh, weapon in her hand being that I broke it already like a dummy that's not the first time I've broken the action figure so the knife just kind of fits into there like so if you want to put the knife in there I don't I don't I kind of like her as is without anything and then here is her holding the interchangeable or excuse me the uh not the interchangeable head but the head the loose head of hers I'm trying to put it in her hand. Oh yeah, and her wrists are articulated as well. I forgot to mention that. So you can kind of have her holding the head like that if you want to. And the knife where she cut off the head. I don't really I don't really like the knife. I actually kind of like her like this, dude. <laughs> So she comes with all these accessories. Very nice, man. If you want to decorate her, if you want to put the mask on and the cloak, the hooded cloak. It's very, very nice, man. They did an amazing job. All right, guys. Uh, we're about to hit the 20-minute mark. I can't believe I spent 20 minutes reviewing this figure. If you guys sat through all that, I just want to say thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and rate her and let you know if she's worth the pickup. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, I'm going to give her a solid 9. You know, yeah, this is a McFarlane figure. It's a statue. But other than that, man, she's really, really beautiful. She's, I definitely, definitely recommend her if you like cool, creepy stuff like this, man. And the face sculpt holds up 20 years later. The body is nicely done. Everything about her is nicely done. The accessories, it's a plus. 
you know, the face, the wings, everything about her is done, man. I can't find a flaw with this figure. She's beautiful. I highly, highly recommend this figure, guys. Uh, yes, if you get her prepared, it, it is a statue. You're not going to get her in many poses. But all these awesome accessories make up for her lack of articulation. And being that it's a 20-year-old figure, it's a beautiful, beautiful figure. So, guys, we'll leave it at that. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this Necromancer. Do you guys like her? I like her a lot. So, we'll leave it at that, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome, creepy uh, action figure reviews like this. And we'll leave it at that, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!